AFL General Manager of Operations David Stevenson has today been announced as the new CEO of the National Basketball League. I'm pleased to say he joins me now from Melbourne. David, thank you so much for joining us here on Fox Sports News. Firstly, congratulations. This has been called a major poaching coup for the NBL, given the AFL is in the midst of the long process of replacing Gil McLaughlin. For you, what was the reason behind making this switch from AFL to basketball? Thank you, Sam. Really appreciate you having me on tonight. I couldn't be more excited about this opportunity with the NBL, that the growth that's been delivered over the last four or five years with Larry and Jeremy and the team has been nothing short of remarkable. And I'm really excited to be able to take that next step of growth and, and really bring some innovation and boldness to the NBL and uh, continue on that great journey. And so it was too appealing to turn down. <laughs> well, it is, you mentioned Jeremy uh, there and, of course, Larry. It is an interesting leadership structure for the NBL, not one that we really see in Australian sport often. You will be working alongside Jeremy Lowliga as the NBL commissioner and the owner and chairman in, uh, and in, with Larry Kesselman. But how will that structure work? How will it all operate? Yeah, it's a great question. The, uh, the approach across the NBL is really a one-team approach that, that I work really closely with Larry and Jeremy. We've got a, a fantastic executive team, uh, but really we, we don't really care who gets the credit. We're more interested in driving the great results that have uh, been happening and we look forward to continuing that momentum in the future. So no egos at the NBL. We're all about trying to win together as a team. Well, part of that winning will be about this. There is a plenty of talk around the NBL that it is looking at further expansion. What does expansion look like? And would the league consider another team in the near future? If so, where would that be? Yeah, great question. There's been lots of interest in, in another team coming to the NBL. And frankly, we, we've had conversations across all of the states and, and internationally as well. It's not just an easy process. You need to make sure you've got strong fan support and continue on the great momentum that we're seeing across all the other teams. Secondly, you need strong government support, particularly from an infrastructure perspective. And thirdly, you need great corporate partners. And, and we've seen the success that's happened both in the South East Melbourne Phoenix and, and the Tasmanian Jack Jumpers. Uh, so we're having lots of those conversations and, and we'll see how they play out over time. But we want to make sure that when we do add in new teams, that they're going to be successful right from the word go. And we couldn't be more optimistic about what growth looks like at the NBL. OK, well, no hints there on where that new team could be in the future. <laughs> but uh, there are many forms of expansion. I want to talk to you about the women's game. Where do you see the women's game in the NBL's future? The WNBL is run by Basketball Australia and there has been a lot of talk about the NBL taking over it in the past. Is that a possibility or is there a bridge to connect the organisations in the future? Yeah, I've seen the, the success of AFLW firsthand across the AFL industry. It has been nothing short of phenomenal on what it's done to inspire people to play, to volunteer, to coach, to attend. Uh, and, and I really see that same great opportunity a, across basketball. And, and the focus for the NBL isn't just around the NBL. We want to grow the game of basketball across this country and, and internationally. So, of course, we want to work with great partners like Basketball Australia. We'd love to see the WNBL continue to be successful in anything we can do to help. Uh, we'll, we'll certainly commit to that, as will, will they with us. So, uh, no plans at the moment with WNBL, but uh, we'd love to support and look forward to that great growth in women's sport continuing. And we've seen it across uh, pretty much all codes, right, that they embrace their women's game and, and have success right across the board. So hopefully there can be more success for the WNBL there uh, with a greater partnership. Is there a key aspect of the NBL that you've identified as a top priority that you'd like to change or adapt straight away when you get in the job? Yeah, look, I've been very deliberate to make sure that uh, I haven't even started the job. I, I don't start until July. And so my big focus as a leader is always to listen and ask questions and learn first before coming up uh, with, with plans and developing those with the team. So I'm keen to, keen to ask a lot of questions. What I do see, though, is, is tremendous opportunity. Uh, I, I can't think of another sport in this country that has the same opportunity that the NBL does. So I'm really looking forward to getting in, learning, listening to fans, listening to, to our clubs, listening to the, to the players, our broadcasters and fantastic partners. And I feel that if we keep listening and ask enough of the right questions that 
uh, we're going to see tremendous growth continuing and take a next phase. And that's both primarily here in, in Australia and in New Zealand as the number one focus. But it's also some amazing international opportunities as well that at the right mm -hmm. time will, will create uh, an incredible growth for the NBL. Under your leadership in the AFL, you're very successful in the recent gather round and being able to deliver that for the AFL. Uh, could we see something similar for the NBL? Yeah, look, I, I think that there's tremendous opportunity when you bring the whole ecosystem of a sport together. You know, it's this notion of aggregation that not only you bring great games together, but you bring fans together and supplement that with events and great activities. And I think the NBL has had a lot of success in doing that in the past. But I think based on the success of Gather Round, which certainly exceeded all of the expectations for the AFL and, and the South Australian government and our clubs, etc., uh, it's a great concept and I think we can continue to grow it uh, at the AFL and I'm, and I'm really keen to explore what that looks like in the NBL. We are seeing a resurgence of the NBL uh, recently. You, you talked about just how enjoyable the game is and the growth potential in the product. Uh, where do you see the NBL in five years' time? What will that look like in Australia? Yeah, I, I think it could go to so many places. I think one, one of the great things about the NBL is their ability to move quickly, their ability to listen to fans and, and to be able to see growth opportunities around the corner that perhaps not everyone can see. So I think what you'll see in five years' time is a, a much bigger competition, a, a deeper connection uh, to the fans, I think strong clubs, and then who knows, maybe some, some new teams, some international expansion, and, and then more and more eyeballs balls on, on the NBL and both in Australia and across the globe. Well, uh, we can't wait to see what it can do and what the NBL will turn into under your leadership. Congratulations on the position and becoming the new CEO. And thanks for joining us here on Fox Sports News. Great. Thanks for your support, Sam.